Did you know that heart disease is the silent killer responsible for a staggering 18 million lives lost every year? That's twice as many lives as cancer. In our fast-paced lives, it's easy to forget the importance of our diet. But here's the truth. What we eat plays a big role in our heart's health. Our diet can either protect our hearts or put them at risk. So, the big question is, what are the top 10 foods that can harm your heart? In this video, we're uncovering the culprits and helping you make healthier choices. We've put together a list of the 10 worst foods that, when eaten too much, can be a disaster for your cardiovascular health. So, stay tuned as we break down these heart-damaging foods and equip you with the knowledge you need to make heart-healthy choices. Let's start this journey to better heart health together. 1. High-Sodium Foods High-sodium foods have a lot of salt, sodium, in them. Salt is necessary for our diet, but having too much can be bad for your heart. Salt is made up of sodium, Ne, and chlorine, Cl, and it's important for maintaining water balance and regulating blood pressure. But when you eat too much salt, it can cause problems, especially for your heart. Salt acts like a stimulant, making your blood pressure go up. When you have too much salt, your arteries try to hold on to more water, which increases the overall water in your body. This puts extra pressure on your artery walls and makes your heart work harder to pump blood through your vessels. Sustaining this high pressure for a long time can be really bad for your heart. It increases the risk of developing high blood pressure and other heart issues. So, it's important to cut down on high-sodium foods to protect your heart. You can do this by using natural spices, unrefined sea salt, or herbal seasonings as a healthier alternative to regular salt in your diet. 2. Fried Foods Fried foods, as tempting as they are, can be bad news for your heart due to how they're made and what's in them. Most of these treats are dunked into hot oil, giving them a crispy outside, but also causing significant health problems. One big issue with fried foods is their high trans fat content. When foods get deep fried, they soak up a lot of oil, which can be high in trans fats if it's partially hydrogenated. This not so great fat profile can lead to atherosclerosis, where your arteries get clogged and stiff, making it hard for blood to flow to your heart. The high cooking temperatures in deep frying can create harmful compounds like acrylamide and advanced glycation end products, linked to oxidative stress and inflammation, both bad for your heart. Another problem is that eating fried foods can lead to unhealthy eating habits. People often enjoy these as treats, and they usually eat larger portions than they should. Over time, this can lead to bad eating habits, increasing the risk of heart problems. 3. Fast Foods Fast foods, the go-to option for quick and easy meals, come at a high price when it comes to your heart health. These convenient meals are often loaded with unhealthy fats, way too much salt, and lots of refined sugars, all of which are a bad combo for your heart. One of the big problems with fast foods is that they often contain trans fats, which are artificially created fats used to make food last longer and taste better. These fats are without a doubt linked to higher levels of bad cholesterol, LDL, and a bigger risk of heart disease. Eating trans fats regularly is like lighting a fire of inflammation inside your arteries. Fast food is also packed with salt. Too much salt can make your blood pressure go up, which is a major risk for heart problems. Many fast food items have way more salt than you should have in a day, adding to the problem of high blood pressure in the population. Fast food is super popular and easy to get, but it can really hurt your heart. Choosing whole, nutrient-rich foods and cooking at home can go a long way in reducing the risk of heart problems and lead to a healthier, more vibrant life. 4. Margarine Margarine, often seen as a healthier alternative to butter, can actually be a risk to your heart because of how it's made. Margarine is created from vegetable oils like soybean, palm, or canola oil, which are initially good sources of unsaturated fats. 
However, the process to turn liquid oil into solid margarine involves something called hydrogenation. This process creates trans fats, which are bad for your heart. It also generates harmful free radicals, which can cause inflammation and stress in your body, both of which are linked to heart disease. Inflammation can harm the lining of your blood vessels, potentially leading to blood clots and increasing the risk of heart attacks. Another problem with margarine is its high omega-6 fatty acid content, especially when it's made from oils like soybean and corn. Too much omega-6 without enough omega-3 in your diet can lead to inflammation, which is a known risk factor for heart disease. To protect your heart, it's a good idea to choose alternatives like olive oil or spreads labeled as trans-fat-free. It's also a good idea to focus on a diet rich in unsaturated fats from foods like avocados, nuts, and fatty fish, while avoiding processed foods that sneak in trans fats. 5. Sugar Sugar, in the form of sucrose or glucose, provides quick energy for our muscles and brain, but too much sugar can harm your heart. One major concern is its effect on blood sugar levels. When you consume too much sugar, it causes a rapid spike in your blood sugar. Over time, this can damage your blood vessels and the cells lining them, leading to a condition called atherosclerosis. This is when plaque builds up in your arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Eating too much sugar can also lead to weight gain and obesity, both of which are big risk factors for heart problems. Moreover, Frequent sugar spikes put stress on your cardiovascular system, causing an increased heart rate and blood pressure, which contributes to hypertension and other heart-related issues. 6. Seed Oils Despite their widespread use, seed oils extracted from seeds like soybean, corn, and sunflower can be tough on your heart. One of the big problems with these oils is they're high in omega-6 fatty acids. While our bodies need omega-6 fats, having too much of them, especially compared to omega-3 fats, can lead to inflammation. This imbalance is linked to various heart problems, including heart disease and high blood pressure. The process of refining seed oils usually involves high heat and chemicals, which can create harmful compounds. These compounds, like trans fats and free radicals, are known for causing oxidative stress and harming cells in your cardiovascular system. To take care of your heart, it's important to pay attention to the types of oils you use in cooking. Choosing heart-healthy options like olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil can help protect your heart's health. 7. Donuts Donuts, as tasty as they are, aren't exactly heart-friendly. These sweet fried pastries might be tempting, but they come with a bunch of issues for your heart. First, donuts are high in unhealthy fats, especially trans fats. The frying process adds lots of saturated and trans fats and introduces harmful free radicals, which can cause inflammation and stress in your body. These fats can raise levels of LDL cholesterol, the bad kind, while lowering HDL cholesterol, the good kind. This not-so-great cholesterol balance can lead to atherosclerosis, where plaque builds up in your arteries, narrowing them and restricting blood flow to your heart. To protect your heart, it's a good idea to choose foods that are lower in saturated and trans fats, sugar, and calories, while being rich in nutrients like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. 8. Rice Rice is a staple food for many people worldwide, and it can affect your heart health based on the type and amount you eat. White rice, which is often polished to remove the bran and germ layers, is a refined product that lacks essential nutrients and fiber. This makes it get digested and absorbed quickly, causing blood sugar spikes. Consistently high blood sugar can lead to insulin resistance, increasing the risk of heart disease over time. On the other hand, brown rice, which keeps the bran and germ layers, is a whole grain and a healthier option. It has more fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants compared to white rice. The fiber in brown rice helps stabilize blood sugar levels, 
reducing the risk of insulin resistance and diabetes, both linked to heart problems. Portion control is essential when it comes to rice. Eating too much rice, no matter its type, can lead to weight gain, which is a risk factor for heart problems. So there you have it, the foods that can affect your heart. Knowledge is power, and we're here to help you make heart-healthy choices. If you found this information valuable, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family.